Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. I am so happy to be here with you guys, especially today guys. We have a sneak peek look at the next update for Samurai Siege. I know that many of you guys don't play, some of you do, some of you are a little hesitant about it, but this is going to be a video that is not seen anywhere else, but here I have the exclusive privilege of showing you guys the new trap that is going to be coming out in the next update, guys. It is called the Assassin's Den. It's really, really cool. This is some developer footage. This obviously has not been released yet. It's going to be the next update. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Assassin's Den right there. Um, it shows it to you on the map and where it is. I believe that it's pretty early on since the loot that you get is only 25,000. So once that comes out, if you've been playing this game for a little bit, you should be able to get it. It looks really, really cool. There's some stats on it right there. But we're going to jump into some gameplay footage here in a second so that you guys can see it in action. I'm excited about it. It looks really cool. It's really unique. I haven't seen something like this in other games. You obviously have your traps that blow up and things like that. But um, this is completely different. Here's a little dialogue between the two characters. I love the single player maps in Samurai Siege. It really is like a story. Um, and there's a lot of levels that you have to complete in order to further yourself in the game. But this is going to be some, some footage of the map that you're going to run into. As you can see, it just looks like a big <coughs> maze, if you will, with just a whole bunch of room for troops to run around in, so on and so forth. But what you're going to see here in a second is the developer playing the map, playing the level so that you can see what it'll be like. And there's an example of the new um, Assassin's Den. As you saw, it just popped up out of nowhere. And you can see the Assassins come out and attack the troops. There's another one right there. They just popped up. They kind of hang out until more troops are deployed. It's kind of like a second clan castle or alliance castle, castle honestly, when you think about it because it's it's pretty sneaky when it comes um, to how, how it affects the game because the clan castle, you can see where it is. These things, you can't necessarily see where they are, just like hidden Teslas um, or traps in Clash, which a lot of you compare this game to, but this shows you that there are some differences. And I hope that you guys who haven't tried the game or who haven't played the game um, realize that there are differences in this from Clash and Jungle Heat and other games like that, um, Backyard Monsters, so on and so forth. But all of them have their own uniqueness, and this is a new update that's going to be coming out really soon. There's a bunch of other stuff in it, like a dragon and some other things they're going to, they're going to be releasing. But I have the privilege to show you this new trap that is just really, really awesome in my opinion. You can see them all jumping up right there um, and just coming out of nowhere. They're hidden, <coughs> but they are like the other traps where you have to refill them with essence, um, which is pretty much like refilling your alliance castle because people have to spend essence to train the troops. So it's the same kind of thing in this um, instance, but the developer kind of just wanted to show that. So we go into this, and then we're going to hop out. We're going to retreat right there, and we're going to go look at some stats on it, some levels, and things of that sort. So I'm really excited about this trap. It looks awesome. I think it's going to be really effective, and it's going to bring a new thing to the game because at higher levels, the traps can hold more troops, just kind of like a like an alliance castle when you upgrade it. So here they're going to go ahead and click. There's an, there's an Assassin's Den level 2. You can see the troop capacity at the bottom is 3. It has its own health, its attack range etc. And then they're going to click on this other one right here. So that's the current uh, level 2. This is a level 4. And you can see from the info that it holds 5 and it has more. It has the assassin's damage down there at the bottom which is really really cool. So people don't have to donate these or anything. You just have to reload it with your essence just like you would if you were to buy any other sort of trap. Mm -hmm. um, so that is really 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 cool. I think this is going to be awesome. I'm definitely excited for this update to come out so that I can put a couple of these around my base once I get them and go into that map and um, beat it and, and whatever. But I'm going to pause here because the rest of this video is just a little bit um, more information about <coughs> the rest of the update that um, some other YouTubers are going to be talking about. But this specific thing right here is about shields. You're going to be able to buy shields with a thousand essence. It's an hour shield, so if you're rebuilding your base or something like that, you can just spend a, a thousand essence on that. But um, definitely look out on YouTube for some other videos about this update. Um, Joe Sack just released one about the essence dragon that Samurai Siege tweeted out. 
um, and everything. And then Flamery is actually going to be releasing one as well. So I hope that you guys are looking forward to that. Um, this game has been really, really fun. Um, it does have its uniqueness compared to Clash. And if you saw the developer interview that I had um, with them, you would notice that they are not afraid to talk about um, the, the significance or the similarities between them and Clash of Clans. Um, because it is the same type of strategy game, but they do have their own differences, and this is one of them. The Assassin's Den is awesome. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I know we've been sitting here on this screen for a little bit while I'm talking to you guys, so I'm sorry about that. But hey, I hope y'all are looking forward to it. I definitely am. For those of you who haven't tried out the game, check it out. Um, at, at least give it a try, because it is different. I love Clash of Clans, but this game um, has its own uniqueness that is really, really cool, and I do enjoy playing it. So, um, guys, try it before you dislike whatever. Um, as always, I'm very, very thankful for your support. Um, I hope that you will trust me when I say if you try the game, there are things about it that you are going to find unique and that you are going to like. Some of you won't like it, and that's okay. Um, I personally do, and that's why I'm sharing it with you guys, because I want you all to see the kinds of things um, that I enjoy, because I love gaming in general. But hey, I'm just rambling on here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support more than you can ever imagine. And in this case, guys, make sure that you keep calm and see John for me, all right? I'll see you guys later.